Today's video is made possible through the support of my old friend Paul Kidwell and dozens of other people just like you on Patreon. If you like what I do, if you're interested in helping me do more videos and better videos, check out the links below in the description and see how you can get involved and help support all this. Thank you. Hey there guys, welcome back to the bench. I'm here with my good buddy Enos. Hey. And we're, uh, we're, we're going to cross an official threshold because if I do this, I think that means I can officially solder. Yeah, like it, yeah. it says right on it, I, mean, I your, can solder. That's your badge, right? Yeah, this is, this is I am earning my official I can solder badge. And it starts by remembering to turn, I always forget to turn that on. It's all right, I always forget to turn it off after the show. And then I go to lunch, come back and go, fuck, I left that on. So that thing just screams. Fucking hell. Yeah. You don't want to pick that one up on the wrong side. That, just, <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Well, that's cool. So this is the, where was this from? Tindy? Yep. Tindy. Okay. So this is the I can solder badge. And this is as simple as it gets. I got to think this is a thing for like little kids. Like you do like a school group event, you get a million kids together and you just hand these out. Yeah. And we're, we're all going to sit down and learn how to not burn the shit out of our hands. All right. So short one goes on the minus. This only has like three components to it, so. That's a nice little easy one. I bet it does the uh, tricolor blinky thing for us. Oh, that'd be so cool. So I, I was getting some hate on these. What are your thoughts on this particular tool? I'm not even gonna use it for this, but have you, did you see these in the, the yeah. earlier video? Yeah. I think they're neat. I think if you're running production and you're doing a lot of stuff all at once, then they're cool. But for little onesie twosie stuff like this, it's a bit overkill. I have also learned the, the joy of these. Oh yeah. Tweezers make life easy. I've also learned that solder doesn't stick to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. I got my SRA flux pen that I have learned to love and use the living shit out of. I'm just gonna flux everything in advance. Cause why not? It doesn't hurt anything. Nope, just something to clean up later. Do you have to actually clean it up? You should. Oh, I gotta, oh, I love this thing. Oh. This is, this is just, oh. What is that? Is that solder in there with That's flux a, or? It's a rosin if I remember right. It's a rosin. It leaves solder. my tip shiny like there's solder in there. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, lead and flux, if I remember right. The one that I have at home is just a little flux ball. Okay. So when you stab it in there, it fluxes it, and yeah, makes it makes it easy to work with. So you totally get to critique, commentary, and judge my technique. So Woo! That was cool! What the fuck was that? What? Did you see that? No. It was like a little meteor. It oh. was a, left a little smoke trail. That's the uh, the rosin here. Rosin core in the solder. I never had that before. No? No! That's super cool. It sucks when it jumps up and lands on your hand. Gosh, there's reasons why I don't do welding. Alright, so I'm going to take this out and put it up top. Yeah. So I got I got my LED on. So first critique. What? Uh, I notice you heat you put the solder on the tip. If you heat up the pad and put the solder on the on what you're working on, you'll use up less solder and you'll have less solder bridges. Okay. So what's for, for small stuff for All something right. like this, you're going to be do I dumping the heat. Do I put this on with that coming over this way? I would. Okay. I mean that's how the well uh, it doesn't touch. I don't think. This is just like the backer. Uh, but It looks okay. like it's set up for it to touch once the legs go down. Yep, it touches. Oh, so I solder all three? Yep. Okay. All right, so this solders from this side, mm -hmm. even though it's sticking up like... Through the other side. All right. But I don't solder the back, I solder the front. You can do either way, I think. Uh, I got pads here. I would flip it back over and tack the... Nope. Don't even have oh, to. I can tack this side tack and that. okay. Yeah. I see. I'm with you. All right. So I'm going to clean. 
my shit a bit there. Hey, bud. Got a friend. So, all right, heat the pad and then come in this side? Yep. Oh, like that. Okay. We're not here to paint. That's a, I had an old geezer get after me. We're not here to paint. Or uh, the other one was, you know how they used to make uh, shotgun, sh shotgun shot? They'd heat up the lead and then drop it into water. They do. That's how they still make it. So he was saying, don't paint it on the on the soldering iron and let it drip down onto your stuff, onto your work. Okay. Add the heat, then add the solder to. Totally the unrelated. If you guys want to see something really cool, look up a shot tower. It's uh, it's how they in some. I don't know how they make it nowadays, but. There was a time when it's how they made a uh, lead shot was in a shot tower, and it, it was gravity and altitude. Really? So they just let it freeze on its way down? Uh-huh. And... Okay. And a lot of people make shot with uh, a pan of water and some specifically sized holes, and you pour the molten lead in, and it drizzles out through a row of holes, like tiny holes, like orifices right into water okay and it makes a really cool sound and and yeah it's cool shit um i think i'm done yeah. <laughs> oh no i got one more part oh yeah that's right there. i had to do the, the stabby bit the stabby bit oh this is huge all right i'm gonna flux this i may have fluxed that already see i can't tell you don't need much i mean you've got flux in here already Flux is my friend. Okay, so I just set that there and then heat it, or or you can put a blob. I'm on gonna there I'm gonna tin it yeah. first. I'm gonna tin it. Tons of different ways to skin this cat. You don't have to. Okay. When people tell you this is the only way you can do it, whatever. There are. Did you see my things. Facebook today? No. I've, <laughs> I've. Hey, how about if I hold this with the fucking tweezers and try and do it? Oh, yeah, there you go. I, uh, see, I learned from your comment. I don't want you yelling at your screen today. This is surprisingly hard to do because everything's articulated. I don't know if that's working at all. So the nice thing about big stuff like this... You can add solder and then move it around afterward. It doesn't have to be... The thing is, i got to get solder under the fucking thing. Yeah, you got it under it. You're good. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> there are no ostriches here. Okay. I think we're good. It looks all right. Yeah. Proper fillet technique up here on the giant one. I get bonus points for that. All right, so now we... Uh, well, we'll we'll test it if this if this goes on and stays, okay. And oh yeah, that that passes a tug test. Okay, so my stability bit is good, and now I put the battery in. And the battery button up or down? Uh, I would do just like that. Just like this. Just like that. Uh, clearly that worked. And it's just a diode, so if you put it in backwards, it just won't work. Nothing's gonna happen. It's got, like, disco biscuit mode here. S seizure mode. That's seizure a, mode. Vegas mode. Vegas mode, yeah, yeah. That is so cool. I got... I can solder. Yay! I'm you, smart. I can gonna, solder. You're going to put that on uh, on your jacket? I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might actually wear this on my bike. That would drive... Yeah, on your bike would be great. Yeah. That drive people around the house nuts. I should put this on the dog. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you put this on the dog at night and let her out in the yard and just not tell anybody and be like, what's that? Just put it what's, on her collar. What's going on? Yeah. So there, it's official. We're like half a dozen episodes in and I can officially say that I can solder. Not well, but I can solder. It's a, learning, have, it's a process, right? Yes. I have a feeling soldering is one of those things like welding of, yeah, you can do it, and then you spend the next 20 years getting good at it. Mm -hmm. But cool. So thank you guys for hanging out. I can solder. And 
say hi or something. I don't yeah, know. I already did, okay. Don't yeah. tell me what to do. Just fuck you, man. You're not my real dad. <laughs> so that's Enos. I'm Chris. And uh, we'll be back in the next episode where what are we doing next? What fuck I had Which one are we doing? I don't know. I got I got an order to him. I gotta look it up. I don't know what we're doing next. I don't know what we're doing now. Fuck it. Alright, you guys have fun. We'll be back in the next episode for electronics and as always, we'll see you next time. See ya. Fuck, but I don't care. We're both ugly. It's a nerd video. Mark!